What's up guys? So I'm trying something new here. A new card has finally been revealed. A card that I've been waiting for for so long and I wanted to get the video out there as quickly as possible and I just found out or I just realized that the uh, iOS 11 has these, this new screen recording uh, m process mode, whatever you want to call it, and I'm using that right now. Uh, so if, if this video turns out to be a little weird, a little wacky, uh, I do apologize. It's be it's because I'm getting used to this new new method and I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to continue to do uh, this type of uh, recording for some of the things that I want to talk about uh, that's posted online, like news-wise and things like that. So we'll see how it goes. First of all, uh, I do have to preface this a little bit. I am doing a new series called First Impressions, where basically when a new card is revealed, uh, or a, a new card that I feel, you know, we need to talk about, uh, I'm, I want to give my first thoughts, my first impressions of it, you know, come up with ideas, strategies, or things like that, talk about it basically, to see how good this card really could be. Now, there is going to be another first impressions video that's going to be uploaded probably tomorrow. Uh, I've already pre-recorded that on Sunday, but I this video is going to go up first. Uh, so uh, I guess a little bit more detail about it would be in that other video. I can't remember quite what I said, but just, just know that this is going to be the first of the first impressions uh, video series that I'm going to do. So the reason I'm doing this as of right now, why I'm trying to rush through this is because Greninja GX has finally been revealed. You don't believe me? Well, there it is. I do want to talk about it, but I haven't talked about Frogadier, so we got to talk about that guy first. Now, first of all, uh, now that's a, that's a lot of first in one video. Looking at the art, I like it. He's pretty dope. Uh, he's basically challenging you. He's like, come at me and there's nothing you can do about it. He's got 80 HP, which is actually very good. It's higher than the last uh, Frogadier that we got. Now his one attack, the water energy that does uh, one water energy for 20 damage is not that great, but he has an incredible ability. Now I don't remember uh, if, well, I don't know if any of you guys remember the uh, the previous Golbats and Crobats from, I think it was Phantom Forces, uh, but basically that has come back in the form of the frogs. So his ability, Quick Shuriken, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you evolve from a Froki, drop them straight down, you do two uh, 20 damage to any of your opponent's basic Pokemon. You evolve four Froakies right off the bat. Uh, now you're essentially doing 80, and that's going to add up, especially if you have a main attacker already up front. Uh, so it's a pretty good ability. Now for a while, because Frogadier was uh, was revealed about a week ago. Uh, yeah, it says it up there about a week ago. So we weren't too sure what Greninja was going to be like, but we finally found out what Greninja does what its ability is and what its GX attack is and I'm going I'm not going to be I'm going to be completely honest with you guys I was I had a lot of mixed feelings because when I first glanced at it I was like okay it's not a heavy hitter it's not like an all out powerful card you know like Guard of War GX or anything like that but then I I, I sat down and just kind of thought about it and I was like you know what this could work this there could be a strategy here so let's talk about Greninja first of all again with all the firsts zooming in on the picture here it's a beautiful picture I love it I can't wait to the full art and see how great that's gonna look out yeah it, it's just awesome all right so HP wise 230 for a stage 2 it's a little less than average but hey Gardevoir GX had 230 HP and it did just fine uh, it's got a weakness to grass, uh, which is kind of an issue with Golisopod kind of like taking over half of the format with the Zoroark and, and Buzzwall, or I guess a third if you, if you, since I mentioned three Pokemon. Um, so it's not the best weakness to have, uh, but it's still doable. Uh, I, I think Golisopod and I guess Tapu Bulu are, the, are your only main contenders here, uh, but with and with the weakness, they're gonna get one shots on this guy, but it's it's okay. There, there's ways we can go around this. Uh, now we have a re retreat cost of two, which is a little disappointing. 
Actually, it's a very much disappointing. I would have loved a retreat cost of one, but two, that's just, that's just too much. Especially since our Greninja from uh, Breakpoint had free retreat. And, you know, we were able to switch back and forth between Greninjas, but this one has two retreat costs, which is probably one of the worst retreat costs in the, in the, in the format or in, in TCG at all. Um, I know if you listen to PTCG Radio, uh, he talks a lot about retreat costs and how one is okay, uh, three is okay, but two is, like, terrible. So, yeah, two, th- this is, it's pretty bad. I, I'm not a fan of that. Now, it's ability. Like I said, guys, the bats are back. The Frogadiers were basically like the gold bats. And now we have Greninja GX, essentially like the Crobat. So Greninja GX, for its ability, all you do is when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you are now doing a total of five damage counters if you evolve straight from a Froki to a Frogadier and then straight to Greninja. Five damage counters right there. Now the abilities can only be used once. Okay, it's not like, you know, it's not like Deciduous, Feather feather Arrow, and you can just keep launching away at it. No. Uh, Actually, that would be kind of cool. I don't know why they didn't do it that way. But anyway, uh, I get it. You know, it's it's a shurikens. He's throwing them as he's, he's, he's evolving. He's getting more powerful. All right, that's fine. Uh, his main attack one water energy and a double colorless so three energies but two energy attachments really haze slash 110 damage you may shuffle this pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck now that may seem very silly but if you think about it it actually works out with this pokemon especially if you're going to go for the the whole strategy of just putting damage counters so you essentially you uh, it's like a hit and run almost. You know, you do 110 damage, then you, uh, you know, go back into the deck, and then you just pull out the Frogadiers, the Greninjas again, and start evolving again. As long as you have a Froki down, you know, you can just repeat the whole process of putting down those damage counters. And but I mean, you've already done 110. So if you do the five damage counters, so 110 plus the five, that's 160. Um, with a choice band, it's 190. So you are doing a good amount of damage to knock out a lot of Pokemon in the format. Now, I don't think there's anything else to really increase water damage, but this is just from one Greninja line. If you have multiple ones, you could easily start knocking away, uh, you know, the Zoroark GXs or the Gardevoir GXs or anything else for that matter, as long as you have the right setup. Now, the GX attack is very interesting. Uh, same attack cost, same energy cost, one water, uh, double colorless, Shadow Assassin GX. This attack does 130 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Obviously, you don't apply weakness and resistance for that. So, if I remember correctly, Entei had a very similar attack, if not the same attack, only it did 120. Greninja outdoes it by 10 more damage, which is actually a big deal now you could save it you know for a weakened gx on your opponent's side but really right now there's a lot of basic or for like stage one pokemon that have 130 hp and a lot of these attacks especially since his main attack only does 110 you're falling short of that now yes the argument is well you could just evolve from you know the froki to the froki deer and then you have your extra 20 there but sometimes you're not going to have that uh, you know, uh, luxury there. So you want to be able to knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon, especially if it's going to be a threat. You know, uh, Volcanion, I think, is one of them that comes to mind, uh, the little baby no- uh, Volcanion uh, that does the 20 damage plus, uh, you know, it, it accelerates fire energy to the bench. Um, there's, you know, there's that. You want to try to get knocked out early. So the 130 is actually really good. Uh, you know, you, you got to use it strategically. This is a type of deck where you are spreading damage and making sure that your opponent is pressured for every turn of the game. You know, Seismitoad, Bats was a deck 
back then where you item locked your opponent and at the same time you were doing damage to your opponent using Golbat and Crobat. And part of the strategy was, you know, you use Super Scoop Up to grab your bats again or maybe use AZ. We have basically the same setup here. We do have Super Scoop Ups in the format. We also have a Cerola. Now, I do, now you do have to be damaged obviously your opponent is going to try to weaken you so you are going to have some damage or some you know damage counters on some of your frogs uh, worst case scenario i don't know how ideal this is but there is an item tool i can't remember what it's called but i believe you just put you know three damage counters uh, on your pokemon um, or you could use potown now that i think about it potown would actually be a really awesome card probably to play this with now yes it's going to hurt you but if you are doing a hit and run then what's there to worry about so not only are you hurting your opponent's evolution pokemon but you're also putting more damage counters on them and you basically get to heal either you shuffle your greninja and all the cards to it back into your deck or you use a cerola and you pick everything up so there is a lot of potential with this the only tricky part to it is the setup now it does have a really awesome partner and um, I can't switch to the screen right away for it um, I don't have it preloaded but basically Glaceon GX Glaceon GX is the perfect partner for this one you start off with a glaceon gx you slow down your opponent from setting up because they can't use their tapu lele they can't use their zoroark for the trade ability and at the same time for the same attack cost you are doing one uh you are doing 90 damage to the front and 30 to the bench so you are literally just raining damage counters on your opponent's side of the field and that could be extremely overwhelming, especially if your opponent can't set up in time. So it, it seems like it's going to be a bit clunky because, you know, maybe you want to play like a 4-4-4 line of this Greninja GX, but you might have to reduce it down to a 3-3-3 three, three, three line, uh, maybe 3-3 three, three Glaceon GX. It's going to it's gonna take a, a, a lot of experimenting uh, just to get the right balance for it. So overall... I love this card just like Greninja break it's a slow setup it's gonna get complicated deck space is gonna be really tight but once you get it rolling oh man there is a lot of potential to be had here so I am really excited it is a little below what my expectation was but I'm going to try to make it work. So I'm already going to start coming up with deck ideas and figuring out how, how I want to go about this and, and to see where it goes. Uh, like I said, I'm, this is the one GX card I was really looking forward to. And, you know, as, as underwhelming as it was at first glance, you know, analyzing it, it just seems like it's a heck of a lot better. So I'm really happy, really excited. Can't wait to get this. I want a full playset of the regular uh, GX card, the full art GX card. I would love a full a play set of the Hyper Rare, but that might be asking for too much. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, thank you for sticking around. Uh, this was my first impressions video. Um, I think this is going to be the first one that I upload. So bear with me as I was trying to work out audio and switching between the screens and things like that. And yeah, yeah, this is this is exciting, guys. I'm, I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really excited. All right. I will see you guys in the next 